Hi everyone, it's so good to see you again today. I want to take you into Psalms. Psalms has always ministered to me, and I love the book of Psalms. It's written mostly by King David. There are others who have written as well, but most of the Psalms that you read, especially by David, David's always talking about his soul. And our soul is our mind, our will, and our emotions. And I want you to hear this today, because there's times that we come under attack. There's times where we just don't know why we're feeling the way that we're feeling. And in Psalms 43, verse 5, it says, Why are you cast down, O my soul? Why are you disquieted within me? Hope in God, for I shall yet praise him, who is the help of my countenance and my God. Why are you cast down, my soul? Why are you disquieted? Why are you in an uproar? Why are you feeling the way that you're feeling? It needs to stop. I said, well, sir, you can't control your emotions. Well, you can to a degree. Okay, and you can do that by making a choice, by saying, I'm not going to let these things dictate how my life is going to go today. I, I'm not going to let this overrun me. I'm not going to let fear. I'm not going to let pain. I'm not going to let suffering. I'm not going to let this overwhelming depression or oppression or suppression take me over. It, it's, it's in our mind, our will, and our emotions. And David. He writes so much about our soul. He talks about if, if you want if you want to read about the soul, you want to read about everything that David went through, and David went through a lot. The Psalms talks about there's times where he's crying out before the Lord because he just hurts so bad. People are against him, people have plotted against him, and yet he chooses still to follow God. Now David David did some things that he shouldn't have done. And I'm not going there. I'm talking about when he was right with God, what he did and what he did what was right. So we need to focus on that. If we learn by his mistakes, we won't make those mistakes. We'll actually move forward and not allow ourselves to be pulled down. And it's real easy to be pulled down. It, the, 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 there's so much going on around us, so much negativity with the, with the media, with the news. We, we talk to people. Like when you see people at the store, they're always like, mmm, you know, and there's people like, I gotta get stuff done, you're in my way, and, uh, you know, and, and there's so much happening in the world. It can be overwhelming sometimes. You're like, I, I thought I woke up this morning in a pretty good mood, and I'm not sure what happened here. Life happens. Things happen. You had to pay how much at the gas pump? You could only buy so many groceries? Where, what, how... Uh, and sometimes we have to remind ourselves. We have to go back and remind ourselves of the goodness of God. David talks about in, in other scriptures, other places, where he he basically built himself back up in God. So well, how did he do that? He remembered. He went back through the scriptures. He remembered the scriptures. He remembered his conversations with God that he would have when he was out as a shepherd, out in the fields. And how he would stare at the wonder and the splendor of the stars at night. And how the Lord would show him what to do and how to fight and protect the sheep that he was looking after. He spent time before the Lord. So there's times when we are so downcast. And we're like, I can't bear anymore. If we would start to praise the Lord. If we would start to worship God. And you can do it at home. You don't have to do it just at church. You can do it on your own. You can sit and just go through the scriptures and say, Lord, I, I can't think of anything that you've done for me, but I'm going to go through the scriptures to see what you did for your people and start recounting those. And it's amazing. Your faith will rise. Your countenance will change. Your hope in God becomes firm. It's anchored. So I just want to encourage you today, don't allow circumstances, don't allow situations, don't allow family and friends to pull you under. If they're doing that, put some distance between you. Pray for them. And make sure you spend time before the Lord. If you know that you're going to be spending time with certain people, you spend time before the Lord and you pray. And you pray for them. And you pray about how the situation is going to go. That you want God's favor. That you want God's grace to be there. So that everybody is built up. Everybody can receive. And you want that because God wants that. He doesn't want just one person to receive. He wants everyone to receive. And they may not acknowledge God and they may not want God in their lives. And that's okay. That's on them. But if you go 
showing the love of God, the peace of God, the grace of God, that's going to make the difference. Why? Because God operates through us. He wants us to be those vessels. So the next time you're, you're, you're feeling discouraged, the next time you feel like, I don't think I can do this today, start to remember, soul, you are blessed. God has blessed you. Get into the scripture. Read Psalm 23, where he restores my soul. He restores it. God wants us whole, not just in our bodies, not just in our finances, not just in every area, especially in our minds, especially in our emotions. And there's times we have to say no to those thoughts. We have to say no to those feelings and say, no, I'm going to focus on what God says to focus on. In Philippians, he says, you know, to think on these things. Those things are lovely, pure, honest, true, just, of good report, of any virtue, of any praise. Think on these things. And virtue means excellence. To think on these things. And if we're thinking on God, then those things, even though they're still there, don't have as much pull. They don't have as much weight. They actually kind of, mm, you know, what's the word I'm looking for? They kind of fade into the background a little bit. Why? Because you've changed your focus. And your focus is on Him. And it allows Him to work in you. And when you are doing praise and worship, that is actually the best way to put your faith into action. Faith is trust and confidence. And we're putting our trust and confidence in God. Not in our situation. Not in our circumstances. Not what's in our wallet. Not what's in our bank account. Not what's at the grocery store. Not what's in our gas tank. And I'm not saying these things are important. They are. But God is is our focus and he can restore not just our soul but he can restore every circumstance thank you for joining us today i'm so glad that you could come i look forward to seeing you soon and as always go forth in christ and prosper